Hi, I'm Jackie Hill, Fast Forward Therapist. And how are you doing today? I do hope that that tip I gave you the other day was, um, is working for you. And today I have a new tip for you. The tip is again about dealing with cravings. Now one of the things that happen when you, when you smoke is that you associate or you do it at the same time as something else. Now I'm thinking about those habits that you have where every time you do a particular behaviour it's connected in your mind with lighting up a cigarette. It may be that first, as soon as you wake up in the morning, that very first thing you do is to light up a cigarette. Or it may be when you have your coffee. Or it may be after you've had a meal. But you, only you know what they are. There are habits that you're doing in the day that you always have a, or have had a cigarette alongside doing it. Now, what we do in the, what happens in our mind is our mind forms these links, and they're called associations. And you've probably played that game, you know, where they say, say the first thing that comes into your head. Like if I said to you, dog, some people would say cat, and so on. It's the same way with our habits. We are, we have particular habits, and it feels like we must have something else alongside that, perhaps. And one of those is your cigarette. So how do you deal with that? Because if you're carrying on with the same habit, for instance, you're having your morning coffee or your cup of coffee after a meal and you've always had a cigarette, your mind is immediately going to associate, oh yeah, it's time for a cigarette. So how are you going to stop that thought coming into your mind in the first place? Well, there's a, a, a number of things you can do and I'm going to suggest today's tip to you is that you perhaps change your habits. Instead of looking at the smoking, look at the behaviour, the associated behaviour that goes with it. So for argument's sake, if you always have a cigarette with a cup of coffee, why not change your beverage for a time? Why not switch to tea for a few weeks until you've got through this early stage in, in the nicotine withdrawal and the cravings? Why not change the beverage? Or maybe if you always have a cup of coffee after your meal, Stop having one. Have a, have a cold drink. Or change your times when you have certain things to mess up, if you like, the habit that you've got into. For instance, if you're used to having a cigarette as soon as you wake up in the morning, why not stop doing that and get into the habit of perhaps jumping in the shower first thing in the morning or going out for a run? You have to decide what what these things are that are going to replace the habits. The key I would suggest to you here is that you select things that are pleasurable to you. It's no point replacing these habits with something that you're actually not going to feel good about, like, oh my god, I've got to get up and go for a run. It, it, if you're going to feel that about it, then it, it's not going to work for you. So select a different habit to what you're doing, or change the times that you do things. For, for instance, it might be that you've got so used to going out with the crowd at work to have your cigarette in the, in the cigarette breaks. You know roughly when those times are. It might be for you to be prepared, say, five minutes before that happens, is to go off and do some deep breathing exercises. You're changing your routine. That way, you're breaking the habit that isn't the smoking habit, it's the behaviour you're doing, but the smoking bit is associated to it, so it benefit, you will benefit from that as well. So that is today's tip. I hope you get on all right with that. Do keep those comments coming in at the bottom and email me if you need to talk to me. I'm there. Either telephone me or email me. You can reach me through my website or you can leave a comment here. And that's great. And if you have any questions or you have, if you're going through a particular struggle at the moment with something regarding your smoking, write that down and I'll either send me an email personally or write it down here and I'll answer it either through the videos or to you personally. Take care, until the next time, this is Jackie Hill. You can reach me at www.fastforwardtherapist.co.uk. Take care, bye for now.